Hello children, how are you all? Have you enjoyed the last story, A Wise Lady? How she got a grant from the God? What, how she wished? Yes, have you planned what to wish the God? What you want to ask the God? Have you planned it? Okay, so next time when you get the chance, you fulfill, try to fulfill your dream. Okay, Nana. So now say this poem, Daffodils. So today, we have a poem daffodils. See daffodils means it's a different kind of flower. So daffodils means nothing but like a flower. Okay. So a bird, f uh, bud, B-U-D bud, birds, a flower like bird, Nana, that we call it daffodils. Okay. So read the poem and know about the growth of the daffodil flower. So here in this poem, we should know about the growth of the daffodil flower. So what is that? See this mark. Under the ground in my little brown shell, rain and sun will make me swell. So under the ground. So any seeds, any plant we get from the ground only. Na? So under the ground in my little brown shell. So for the seeds, shell we have brown color. Na? So for the from the brown shell, I get it. Rain and sun. So whenever they have rain water and sun heat, obviously we get the plants from the ground. Na? So rain from that, I get swell. So that is will make me swell. So what is the meaning of swell? To become larger and rounder than usual. A small seed will grow up and become big plant. Na? So that we call it swell. Even our hand or leg also swelling. If, if you hurt, if you touch anything and any hurts happen, injury happen means it gets swelling. That is a large in the round, right? So here to become swell means, right? See the meaning of swell, Nana? Swell means to become larger, to become larger to become larger and rounder than usual and rounder than usual and rounder than usual so that we call it a swell so large and uh, round we get it now that we call it swelling na? so here the seeds are anything also becoming large big so under the ground in my little brown shell rain and the sun will make me swell so shell swell rhyming words also we got it and sharp green shoot is beginning to show I think at last I am starting to grow. Yes, sharp green shoot is beginning to show. Yes, from the seed, from the shell we get, that is a sharp green shoot is beginning. So sprout like this we get it and later we get green plant. Na? So sharp green shoot is beginning to show. I think at last I am starting to grow up. So the, from the seed gradually it grows up. Na? So I think at, at last I am starting to grow up. I am starting to grow. So watch out wind. Slowly I am getting tall. Watch out wind in case I fall. So slowly I am getting tall. Yes, plants slowly, gradually they become tall, long and watch out wind. From the wind you watch me always. In case I fall, so I may fall down for heavy wind like this. So watch me, uh, watch me. That the daffodil is telling. So at sides, at side are leaves of green and thin with a bud between. So how the daffodil we get it? Any flower also like this. Sides we have green, beautiful green. From that we get thin bud, right? So with a, a thin with and thin with a bud between. So from between the uh, leaves. So between the uh, leaves of green we get buds. So buds then we get the flowers, right, Nana? So, uh, and sides are, and side are, at side are leaves of green and thin with a bud between. 
long that bud opens and petals unfold daffodil flower with a trumpet of gold so long that so when it is increased to grow tall and tall then bud opens and petals unfold bud opens and petals petals means the lovely colorful leaves of the flower so leaves of the flower we call it petals okay ma so rose petals the leaves of the flower not of leaves of the tree those are leaves of the plant or tree green color so rose petals we call it so or else chamomile and petals like this the leaves of the flower we call it petals what is this ma petals p e t a l e s petals means the leaves of l e a v e s the leaves of uh, the lovely colors of the lovely colors of the lovely colorful leaves the lovely colorful leaves of leaves of the flower leaves of the flower so that we can call it petals that we can call it flower uh, petals so and unfold so the bud will open it na unfold it fold it means close unfold means open unfold unfold means it's a open okay so bud when blossoms we get the flower na so it unfolds daffodil flower with a trumpet of gold so daffodil flower with a trumpet of gold trumpet means musical instrument am trumpet t r u m m p e t trumpet means a trumpet means musical instrument musical instrument musical instrument so like that it in, uh, that is a trumpet of gold like the musical instrument it increases okay ma so see this poem once again i am telling under the ground in my little brown shell rain and sun will make me swell rain and uh, sun will make me swell sharp green shoot is beginning to show i think at last i am starting to grow i think at last i am starting to grow slowly i am getting tall watch out wind i in case i fall at the side are leaves of green and thin with a bud between long that bud opens and petals unfold daffodil flower with a trumpet of gold so with a musical instrument like this it comes out that is nothing but daffodils okay na na beautiful poem na so how the daffodil flower we get from the uh, uh, seed to plant and flower how we get it okay so see the rhyming words na na in this first two lines shall swell show grow next tall fall very good green between good unfold gold right so rhyming words also we have in this a poem okay so read this poem nana all of you and next i'll tell you the grammar part and question answers you should tell me the answers for this okay so read the poem see children have you read the poem yes very good so now today i'm going to tell you the remaining grammar and Uh, question answers part everything so now first part we have vocabulary part na vocabulary see the vocabulary part first word what do we have ma swell s w e l l swell so what's the meaning of swell to become larger and rounder than usual rounder than regular okay to become large rounder than usual so next word na na petals petals means what yes the leaves of flower the lovely colorful leaves of the flower that we call it petals 
and the next one unfolds unfolds means open or spread out from a folded position open or spread out from a folded position folded means closed from the close to open or spread over that we call it unfold trumpet trumpet means it's a musical instrument trumpet means it's a musical instrument okay nana so these are the vocabulary words we have from this poem learn these meanings thoroughly okay nana practice it see the next topic children in this after vocabulary grammatical structure so which grammar topic we have in this poem that is today we are going to discuss relative pronouns what is that ma relative pronouns r e l a t i v e relative pronouns what are these relative pronouns what are these relative pronouns so relative pronouns is used to refer nouns is used to pronounce means they use it to refer nouns replacing the nouns right relative pronouns especially refer to a noun mentioned previously mentioned previously so whether they are people or places or animals or things or ideas anything it may be okay and even relative pronouns is used to joining the two sentences also okay so but looking like conjunctions but those are not conjunctions ma okay so see this a relative pronoun a relative pronoun a relative pronoun is used is used to refer is used to refer nouns is used to refer nouns mentioned is used to refer nouns mentioned before or previously p r e v i o u s l y so a uh, relative pronoun is used to refer nouns mentioned previously okay mentioned previously for that we use it so what are those whether so mentioned previously what are those nouns whether whether they are whether they are people animals places or things places things or ideas things or ideas for everything we use the relative pronouns okay ma so these also can be used these also can be used these also can be used to join two sentences can be used to join two sentences two sentences to join it or else mentioned previously the names mentioned previously instead of that also we use pronouns relative pronouns relative pronouns so what are these relative pronouns ma the list of relative pronouns i am telling see what are these relative pronouns that what who which whom which whom whose whose whoever whoever and whomever and whomever so like this we have the relative pronouns relative pronouns so in some words the words what when and where can also function as relative pronouns in very rare sentences okay ma traditionally who and whom refers to 
persons who and whom refers to places and whom and who refers to people and which and that refers to animals which and that refers to animals see ma who and whom refers to people people are persons who and whom refers to people which refers to animals generally and that also refers to animals that also refers to animals okay nana so refers to animals or things that refers to animals or things and which also refers to animals or things who and whom refers to maximum persons people okay nana suppose see the example one example i am giving here so the woman the woman who called the woman who called earlier earlier don't leave a message don't did sorry didn't leave a message didn't leave a message so who that is here see the woman who called earlier didn't leave a message someone called you who called you a woman so a woman the who is referring to the woman okay the woman who called earlier didn't leave a message didn't say anything so the who is referring to the woman who is refers to the woman so that's why relative pronoun relative pronoun so the same way all the dogs that got adopted today be, will be loved so all the dogs that got adopted so oh, that means refers to all the dogs that refers to all the dogs okay nana so in the sentence you have na and my car which is nearly 20 years old still runs well my car which is 20 years old which is 20 years old which refers to my car which refers to my car okay nana so like this uh, things we can write it which are uh, that things are animals refers to which are that and per people persons refer from who are whom who are whom okay a girl who called me okay a girl who gave me a book a girl who gave me a book a girl who raised a doubt a boy who asked me a pen okay a boy who asked me a pen so who is referring to a boy referring to a girl okay na so like this we get the relative pronouns okay ma so uh, this these are the relative pronouns shall we do some exercise on this very good so first write in your book and then we can do the exercise in the exercise from this relative pronouns do it see children so the next topic ma yes on the relative pronouns you should do some exercise na so here total five sentences are there for this suitable just four relative pronouns what are these choose the correct answer to complete each sentence choose the correct answer to complete each sentence nana so each one to complete we should choose it the correct one so what are those that who which whose for they have given that means one is repeated okay so what is that one by one see nana the cyclist dash won the race trained hard the cyclist dash won the race so cyclist means a person person representing means what do we get either who or whom so is related to that the person the person that's why the cycle cyclist who won the race the cyclist who won the race trained hard the cyclist who won the race trained hard okay ma so in the instead of the cyclist the person means who we should write it okay next one where did you buy the dress where did you buy the dress dash you were last week so what is that you were last week so that we can write it where did you buy the dress 
which you were things represent means that are which so here it's not showing that's why which you were last week which you were what is that which is representing the dress you were okay that you were last time that is the dress okay the way did you buy the dress which you were last week okay ma and the boy dash bike was stolen by uh, stolen is crying the bike the boy dash bike was stolen the boy dash bike was stolen so the boy whose bike was stolen so who are whose so that related to that boy that's why whose bike relate the person only that's why who related to that person we should write whose nana so the boy whose bike was stolen that boy okay he is crying okay na no? next one the people dash live across the street are from germany the people especially particular one so the people dash live across the street the people who um, who lives across the street the people who live across the street the people who live across the street are from germany who are living there those people na? so that's why the people who live across the street the people who live across the street are from germany okay na, na. next one the festival dash lasted all day ended with a banquet so all people gather and have food na? so banquet so the festival so how the what is this festival related to things means we can write it that are which so particularly specifying means the festival that lasted the festival that lasted all day ended with a banquet okay nana so see this uh, the cyclist who won the race a uh, uh, trained hard second one where did you buy the dress which you were last week and third one anna the bike who the boy whose bike was stolen is crying the people who live across the street are from germany next one the festival that lasted all day ended with a banquet the festival that lasted all day ended with a banquet okay children so these are the relative pronouns you should use it okay again in the workbook if you get you should tell me the answers okay nana so first note down these